Hello everyone, welcome to a new disc golf video. I'm out here at the Clayton's Disc Golf Course, uh, Maryville, Tennessee, kind of the Alcoa area. Um, I've already posted the front nine, so make sure to check that out if you haven't already, but this is the back nine. It's supposed to be more open style course on the back. It was in the woods on the front. Looking forward to it. Let's go ahead and get into it. First bogey. I don't really know where my basket is. I'm just gonna kind of throw it out there towards your basket and surely that'll be good. We'll see. Well, this was like 460, slightly downhill. Freaking park. Sweet birdie right there. Bad height. I feel like that needs to go. Let's go, man. Definitely gonna. Alright, 515 par 4. Gonna try to forehand to this right fairway. Get down there, good ways. I should have like a putter in from there. Got a marshal here. Huh. I don't know how close that is. Gosh, how do I make that big jump putt on the last ball and miss this? Uh. All right, hole 14, another par four. Not exactly sure where the basket is, but it's to the left, so I'm gonna throw a big Anheuser drive. Hopefully it gives me a good angle into the green. Get up. Yep. That'll be fine. Pretty sure I blocked that on him. Need to stop doing that. Blocked an ace the other day. Alright, exactly what I wanted here. Gonna throw the marshal.
There we go. Another birdie. All right, another par four. Uh, kind of, they've all really been in that kind of 600 foot range, but low ceiling tunnel shot. Gonna try to get out of the gap. Still get some good distance though. if it got full flight. I'm really pinched off, look at this. That would have been, I feel like my drive would have been too far straight if it didn't hit that though. I'll probably need you to watch this for me. No! Well, it's in the middle, right? Gosh. I think this is the, for the longs, this is definitely the hardest hole in the course, in my opinion. Really specific tee shot. Um, probably again, course knowledge situation to where you probably don't want to go distance driver off the tee, probably want to lay up something. Play it as a true par four, but again, I didn't really know that. Um, but we should be able to get up and down for par. Course knowledge is big on this hole. I would have done something different off the tee. Car save. Alright, this is like a 675 foot par 4. Uh, it's got the measurement, since there's a short pin that way, it's got the measurement kind of looping around. Uh, but I'm just going to take an angle at this. There's no mando, so I'm just going to go out here, cut off some easy distance off the tee. Well, this worked out perfect. I was able to make the hole so much shorter. Uh, probably only plays like 450 from from that line, but there was no Mando, so it was a no-brainer shot for me. Got a Marshall here. A little deep. Should be fine though. I'm assuming that way. All right, first par five on the course. Uh, my basket's way over there. It says it's 725 feet, so I feel like it's gonna play a bit farther than that. So just trying to get one out there. And we'll work from there. Well, that was really bad, but it went forward. All right, guys, I'm still a good ways out. That was really not what I wanted, but I don't know how far I am. I mean, it looks really far, but I'm gonna go for it to lift the pro. Come on, baby. I didn't get there. All right, I'm going for the green. Going for the pin. Turn. No! Gosh, that had the distance, I think. Yep. Slightly early release. I thought it was maybe going to get up and ride left for me, but... That's honestly normally not the mistake I make on distance shots. That's uh, it's kind of new for me, is releasing on a bit too much hyzer today. But that was the safe... 
I mean, that's the miss on the approach shot because that basket's literally on a cliff with, I mean, it's so steep down it. We walked by this hole earlier. So steep down, it's got a river. 18's like a really sick shot. So that's definitely the safe play. Lay that up, take an easy birdie. All right, I'm just laying this up with the Marshall. It's literally a dead drop off behind the basket. Take my birdie. Good birdie. I like to play that again, get a better drive, you know? Mm -hmm. Definitely very eagleable. There have been some, there are some soft par fours, and that was a really soft par five. I would say for the long layout, the pars are really soft. I'd say the short layout plays pretty true to its par. The long layout, surprisingly enough, has pretty soft pars, but I'm excited for this hole, hole 18. Should be a good one. <laughs> All right, hole 18. It's not the straight basket, which I feel like is the better shot for the hole, but my basket is to the left. I'm gonna go get away. Normally not my bag, but there is a river on this hole, and I'm just gonna go big Anheuser. It's 441 feet, so. I'm just gonna send it. I'm just gonna send it. I have another one of these at home. I don't even, this isn't even in my bag, so I'm gonna send it. Over the top, baby, big Annie. Oh no, it didn't turn. Go in the short. Alright. Well, that sucked. Well guys, I didn't I wasn't able to turn over either of them. I threw a ballista pro after and I also hyzered out, but I feel like it's hard to get that anhyzer on the disc if it's so severely downhill like that because the disc is pulling it or the gravity's kind of like pulling it back to the ground on hyzer so uh that'd be a really fun shot if you're a righty just blasting a hyzer over the trees but um we should be i mean i should have an approach shot and tap in for par i feel like i've been playing pretty good i feel like i'm a decent amount under par but you guys know my score because i'll be put it in later in editing but uh yeah i really i've really enjoyed this course so far so excited to finish hole 18. I truly think they should only have one basket on this last hole. I mean, that is a sick pin, the normal one. But uh, out of the sake for me playing all the long pins, I went ahead and placed the white. So I gotta, I gotta get this up and down and get a par. My score on the screen I, I enjoyed this course a lot the Clayton's Maryville Alcoa Tennessee really really nice course um, definitely the nice uh, the nicest quality course I've ever played like upkeep wise and just I mean they literally had built-in stairs in the woods they had I mean two tee pads on the majority of the holes two baskets on every single hole just really really nice course design was okay um, Definitely could have done some things different on the course design, but really enjoyed my time. Definitely, I feel like a destination course in Tennessee. Uh, must, must visit course if you're in the area. Thank you guys for watching this video. Subscribe, leave a like. I'll see you guys in the next one.